Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Well, hi kids! And thanks for stopping by for today's book! Today's book is... Who Did This? And it's written by Angela Murray. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with today's book. It was the weekend, and Zoe and Amber decided to get their chores done quickly so they could go outside and ride their bikes. In no time, Zoe was doing the dishes and Amber was dusting the furniture. Suddenly, Zoe jumped, startled by a shattering crash as shards of glass scattered all over the floor. It sounded like little tinkling bells and may have even been pretty under other circumstances. Oh, Amber, no! Zoe shouted. Mom's special vase! I was just dusting and it slipped out of my hand. Do you think Mom will be upset? More like livid, Zoe said. But it's too late now, right? I'm done washing the dishes, so I'll help you clean up the pieces, said Zoe. Stay where you are. Let me get some shoes and cleaning supplies. You shouldn't be walking around barefoot. You're going to cut yourself. Zoe soon returned. In one hand, she had a broom and dustpan. In the other hand was a pair of sneakers for Amber. Amber stood still, watching as Zoe swept up the mess, thinking, Wow, she's just like Mom. They make everything look so easy. Thank you for helping me, Zoe. I want to go at least a month without breaking something. Did you try dusting one at a time? Zoe asked patiently. Yes, at least at first. But then I started to hurry so we could go ride our bikes. I was wondering how I could possibly win when we race around the block. Hearing this, Zoe yelled to their mother, who now was outside watering plants. We're going riding around the block. We'll be back soon, Mom. All right, girls, be careful. gotten permission, Zoe and Amber went to their bikes. Mom's newly planted sunflowers were damaged. All seven baby shoots were leafless. Someone had ripped them right off. Who did this? Zoe asked, looking at Amber suspiciously. Amber looked at the poor plants and said, so glad it wasn't me, because Mom is not going to like this one bit. She really loves her sunflowers. Yeah, well, she loved that vase too, said Zoe, looking rather sad. Are you going to tell her what happened or what? I guess, said Amber. But first, I'll try to find out who cut her flower like this. That way, she won't be too upset about the vase. So, she'll not be too upset with me about the face. Will you help me, Zoe? Zoe nodded and said, Of course, and we can start looking through our windows in the morning. You keep watch from your side of the house, and I'll keep watch from mine. When they returned from riding their bikes, Amber went inside to get a drink. She took a glass of lemonade to her mother, who was still out back. At this point, planting some new pentas she purchased at Farmer's Market downtown last weekend. Here, Mom, said Amber sweetly. Thank you, dear, her mother replied. So, where do you think I should plant these white pentas? You have a wonderful way of arranging the plants, and I need your advice. Hearing this compliment, Amber beamed. She didn't feel as clumsy while out in the garden. Even if stems were cut in error, new life would soon grow back, post-pruning. 
Not so with broken dishes or vases. Everything was labeled in the garden. And Mom would say the name as she took the labels from the plant pots she had purchased. Then ask Amber to make bigger signs. Amber knew the names of the plants in the gardens. And not just by looking at them either. She was able to read the names on the labels correctly. Mom allowed her to put any designs or drawings she liked on the plant markers. And for this reason, Amber felt the garden was just as much hers as her mom's. I think you should put it right here where you planted the sunflower seeds. We just noticed that someone damaged the new sunflower, Amber said. Walking around the house, Amber's mother sighed and asked, Who would have done this? Should we pull out these chopped off stems? Do you think they'll grow without leaves? Amber asked. Mom examined them closely and said, Well, so young, they need their leaves to help them make food to feed the whole plant. But I see no harm in leaving them. The garden is always the perfect place to learn brand new things. Mom, Amber started, this morning while dusting, I... But just then, Zoe ran out, interrupting the confession. Amber had really wanted to tell her mother what had happened to get it off her chest, but she figured it could wait a bit longer. Hey guys, I want to help too, Zoe exclaimed, picking up some sunflower seeds. Are you planting these again? We noticed the one on the sides of the house were chopped down to the stem. What could have happened? We just finished planting some pentas, and now we're about to plant some more sunflower seeds, said Amber. Are we uprooting these damaged shoots? Zoe asked her mother and Amber. Gardening provides some interesting opportunities to learn new things, said Mom. So let's use this chance to see what happens, shall we? They won't go as quickly as they would have with leaves, but the stems look undamaged. So let them stay. Who knows, maybe they'll still grow and flower. Let's plant some in the same area where we planted the pentas, said Amber. Oh, and I doubt that anyone wants to get poked by a cactus, so let's plant some seeds there as well. Okay, said Zoe. Give me some, but I'm planting mine in a pot. I'm putting mine in a lanai, just to be sure I see the plants grow big. No one or thing can come inside to get my plant. No way! What about you, Mom? Amber said. Are you planning some more as well? Yes, I'll use this open space. I still haven't chosen what to plant, though. It's right up by the lanai, so I doubt that any wild animals will want to come so close to the house. Hearing this, something clicked in Amber's mind, and she felt that she may have solved the mystery of the leafless plant. One day, while outside playing hide and seek with Zoe, she heard one of the neighbors ask her mother a question. What do you call those beautiful flowers with the red and orange blossoms? I just love them, and I notice the rabbits are equally smitten. I also want rabbits, yet none ever come. Amber had heard her mother's response, too. Those are zinnias. They're easy to grow. And I just got a couple of packets. I can give you a pack if you'd like to try them. Just follow the label's directions. They are just as simple as sunflowers. Just to be on the safe side, however, both girls stayed on the lookout for garden intruders. Sure, it could have been a rabbit, but maybe it was another kid, someone else from the neighborhood. I wish we had a security camera in our yard, said Zoe. That would put an end to this mystery. morning, just before sunrise, when the plants were still damp with morning dew, Amber took up post by her bedroom window with her tablet ready, camera on. Suddenly, she saw them, rabbits, rabbits nibbling like crazy. Caught in the act, cried Amber. Got 
you. Running into the kitchen, she shouted, Mom, I know who's been eating your plants, especially your sunflowers. Look! Just as I suspected, said Mom. More than one, huh? Must be your kids, Amber said. I am happy it's animals and not people. I would have been sad if people did it. I'm happy too, said Mom, smiling. I guess we'll have to find ways to protect our dear little plants now, won't we? But they must be hungry, said Amber. Yes, that's true. So we'll have to find ways to coexist, Mom said with a smile. But then her expression changed and she said, Anything else you know about? That's right, Amber said. I almost forgot. I'm sorry I didn't say it sooner. I broke your vase while dusting, Mom. I know you loved it. I'm so, so sorry. I know, my dear, and it's all right. But next time, don't wait so long to tell me. If something goes wrong, I'll always be here. Seconds later, Zoe walked into the kitchen, and Amber proceeded to show her the video. I'm making breakfast, said Mom, smiling. And later on, we can learn about ways to fence our young plants in, all right? We can buy older plants, but I think it's far more fun to grow from seeds. Now help me get the bowls, please, girls. You think of ways to protect what's left of those seedlings we recently planted. Okay? I think you forgot one minor detail, Amber said, wiggling her nose. Breakfast for the rabbits! The end. So what did you think about today's book? Did you learn anything? I hope you learned that when you do something wrong or, or maybe break something by accident, make sure you go tell your mom or dad or an adult right away. Don't wait. Don't worry, things will always be fine. I also hope you learned some things about plants and maybe rabbits eating those plants. I want to say a great big thank you to Angela Murray for this wonderful book.